Clues, first of all, congratulations in the named in the Betfred Super League Dream Team. Uh, must come as a, a great honour. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm over moon with it to be honest. It's not something that I'd have said I'd have set my sights on uh, earlier on in the season, but you know I, I think it's a reward for all the hard work I put on it, uh, put in in pre season. So I'm I'm really happy. And given the, the outstanding hookers there are in, in Super League at the moment, including in, in our own team with, with Brad Dwyer, to be named number nine in that team must be yeah, must be a great boost. Yeah, it's a, it's a good honour, and like you say, um, to, it's a good boost going into these playoffs, um, you know, into semi final. So, um, yeah, it's just I've got to keep building and keep keeping that consistency that I've that's got me in that team. Really, I, I can't afford to you know get complacent because that's what got me there. So I'm just going to keep working hard and hopefully get to a grand final and top it off with a grand final win. I know when we speak to players, individual accolades aren't, it's all about the team, it's not necessarily about the individual, but it must be great, to give you a great feeling to, to be included in the team. No, it does, um, I can't lie, yet. you know, like I said, I, I wouldn't have probably set my sights on it, but to get in that team, you know, my family were really honoured and everybody's congratulated me and it feels nice, you know, sat in a video room full of your peers and everybody congratulating you for some, some, of, the, some, some of the hard work that you've done to get there. Um, and being recognised for it's even better. So yeah, I, I can't lie, it does feel really good and I'm really happy with myself, to be honest. And just what you're saying there, good mood in the camp ahead of a, a massive game this Friday at St Helens. Yeah, um, I don't think you know it needs any pumping up or we don't need to get um, any external uh, factors to get us up for this game. You know, We all have the reason why we're playing and this is why we want to play in these big games. And I think it's, it's, it's an easy week to get up for and it's an easy week to play and keep everything simple. And like I say, we don't need any motivation going into this game. The, the reigning champions, they push Catalans all the way for the league leaders this year. How big of a challenge is it to, to face St Helens? Yeah, uh, a massive challenge and I think it's it's right. That's what you should you should be facing, these big challenges. You should have to go to Wigan away and beat them away and then you should have to go to St Helens away and beat them away and then you know play OKR or Catalan in the final, then beat them and then you feel like you've deserved to win. If we go and do that and beat, the, beat all them teams, we deserve to win a grand final. And in, but going to, onto their patch, will we draw confidence from how we performed last week against Wigan? Yeah, I think so. Um, we've got most of us team back. Uh, you know, we struggled over there a couple of weeks ago. Um, th th that'll be fresh in their mind, but also fresh in our mind as well. Um, they've had a week off, so they'll be fresher than us. And um, but like I say, we're a little bit more battle hardened than them. And you know, we've got to take confidence from the way we played against Wigan and uh, the way we kept them scoreless is massive as well. Um, so I think you've got to take confidence from them games because if you don't, where can you get your confidence from? And I think you're going to them games with the momentum of a win. So yeah, we'll be happy to go there. And like I say, you've got you've got to do it. You've got to beat these big teams to win a grand final. How nice it's to have so many people back in training. You know, plenty of bodies out there on the field. Yeah, everyone's uh, everyone's uh, you know scratching to get back because obviously the stakes are so high. I even saw Gailey having a little bit of a run up field today. I said, oh, your, leg, your legs feel a little bit better now. But yeah, so we had a bit of a joke about it. But yeah, it, it's, it's, it's massive stakes and everybody wants to play and it's good to have uh, as full complement there and, and get them competition for positions back because that ultimately pushes the training and drives the standard and the higher your standards are in training, the easier you'll play in a game.